Hey guys, today we're going to be working on our place value chart for third grade. Um, in third grade, our place value goes up to the hundred thousands, which is really big because last year in second grade, your place value charts only went up to 1,200. So it's a big jump from last year to this year. As you're filling in your place value chart, just know that when you write the digits in the right place, you're using what's called standard form. Standard form is when you take a number and you write it completely normal. Like if I wanted to say I had 17 cookies, I don't walk around and say I have 10 plus seven cookies. We don't talk like that. That's not standard, it's not normal. We would walk around and say I have 17 cookies. So 17 is standard form. And there are many forms of a number which is gonna come in a couple videos later, but not today's. Today's is just working on the place value chart. So in our place value chart, I split it down the middle to show you that we have two periods, okay? This period is called the thousands period. And this period is called the ones period. Some charts have this as the units period, but it's exactly the same as the ones period. Just depends on, I guess, what school you're at. Um, what separates our two periods is called a comma, okay? You had the comma a little bit last year, but this year you're gonna have it a lot, lot, lot more. And next year you're gonna add another comma to the front, which is your millions comma. But this year we'll just have the thousands comma. So every period, there's two periods here, every period has three places. One, two, three. One, two, three, okay? And every period has hundreds, tens, and ones, right? Just like last year, hundreds, tens, and ones. So if I wanted to fill this in using digits, because a digit is the representation of a number, if I want to fill this in using digits, I am going to put, I don't know, nine, seven, zero, eight, one, three, right? That's a really, really, really big number. And remember this number, since I wrote it with just the digits, is in standard form. So if I want to read this number to you, what I do is this comma will say the period that this is in. And I will read this completely normal using hundreds, tens, and ones. So when I look at my first period, the thousands period, if I read this like hundreds, tens, and ones, this right here just says 318. Then when I get to my comma, I say the period that this is in. So 318,000. So when you get here, you say the period. 318,000. And then I read this completely normal, 79. I don't have to say 079 because it's implied that I don't have any hundreds when I just don't say the hundreds place. So this number reads 318,079. Okay, let's try another number. Okay, okay. what if I wanted to try, I don't know, um, okay, so here's my number. So this is again standard form because I'm reading it completely normal. So I'm gonna read this, I'm gonna say the period it's in, and I'm gonna read this again. So 124,378. So again, 124, because that's what it looks like if I were to cover that. Can you see that? Am I blocking that? Okay. 124,378, okay? It's gonna take a lot of practice, but if you just keep practicing it and know that you say it normal, the period it's in and say it normal, you'll be very successful.